A rare solar eclipse crosses North America today. We've been talking about it all morning. Millions of Americans will gaze into the sky as the moon briefly blocks out the sun. Hundreds of cities and small towns lie along what's called the path of totality. Sherry, the path of totality is not near us, but we're going to see part of it. We will. We'll see about 50% of it, just about half. And uh, all the colors on this map indicate the probability of good visibility and the red indicating poor visibility. The first place to see totality will be on the Pacific coast of Mexico. Then that path comes through Texas, through the Midwest, and all the way to the Northeast. And unfortunately, a lot of viewing areas along that path of totality will experience partly cloudy to cloudy skies today for us. I think we're going to have pretty good viewing as we'll start out with a few clouds this morning and by 10:15, a lot of those clouds will be clearing out. We should have pretty good visibility with only half of the sun being shrouded by the moon shadow. So we'll get to see a partial eclipse and that should be happening by 1120 this morning. Then the moon shadow will move away from the sun and we'll have full good sunshine, mostly sunny skies for the rest of the afternoon. It will all be over by 1230 and again, you you cannot look at this celestial event without these protective solar glasses. And if you don't have any or you'd like to go view it with other folks and ooh and ah together, there's some places you can do that, right, Nate? Yeah, here's one of them. It's the top of the Strat, the tallest freestanding observation tower in the country. A $20 ticket will get you some of those special glasses, but you want to get there early. There's only room for 200 folks up there. There's more information on their website.